I want to do a short video on this Century Safe I picked up at an estate sale. I usually buy these from $10 to $20 a piece. I got this one for $15. It was open, uh, but no combination. Uh, and the combinations are super simple to uh, rediscover. Now, one thing to keep in mind, where is the serial number on a Century Safe? Uh, usually there's a paper tag. Luckily, this one is still stuck right to the front. You can see the little orange tag right there where I put my screwdriver. So, um, so if you want to pay 30 bucks, but in reality, a safe like this probably has a resale value of 40 or 50 dollars, maybe 60 uh, when you're done. So you're, you're just as well off finding the combination yourself. This is a 24 inch high safe. You take the door off when you want to move it because the door weighs about 20 pounds, the rest of the body will weigh about 80. Keep in mind that there's little washers right here. Take a look at those little washers. Don't lose those washers because they have a, um, a special spacing that helps your door go closed. Now when you, when you get a safe like this, you want to find the combination yourself. Uh, and that's pretty easy. You simply turn the safe around and get it here in an angle so that I can show you what we need. Alright, so there is the back side of the safe. And so most of these are going to be a three number combination. You look at the dial, you count how many wheels there is, and there's three wheels. So you have three numbers uh, on this particular safe, and you've got to line all three of those numbers up with this bar, which has to go inside of those numbers. So you simply manipulate the dial, start clockwise, and you always go three or four turns clockwise to get it, and then you get the first number to line up. And the first number is the dial closest to the outside of the safe. So you have to look sideways, right about there. And you can see the space right here, that's the dial you line up first as you turn it. So now you've got it that way, now you're going to go one spin the other direction till the second wheel starts spinning and then you get it lined up right there so your bar so this second wheel now has the notch lined up with this bar and then of course you move to the third wheel and line it up so that the locking mechanism will move and your bar here then releases the safe and there you have it, you have your three numbers found. Very easy, very simple to do. Now one thing about these safes is they're, they're 24 inches by 17 inches, 100 pounds. It is something, uh, you know, many large men can still pick it up even though it's very bulky. Um, and, and it's not that theft proof because of the weight and the size. So one thing that I tell people to do, and this is the easiest thing you could do to make it more theft resistant, is to simply add weight. For example, you could take an old car rotor or some old plates or, you know, if you have a bag of lead sinkers, anything to add weight to it. You add another 50 pounds in the bottom of the safe, and there's a lot of room in these safes. Uh, you, could, you could put a couple hundred pounds in there and not really restrict yourself. So, you know, the more weight you add to the inside of the safe, the more theft resistance it is. And my suggestion is get the weight up to 200 pounds. And uh, there's plenty of ways you can do it. The uh, serial number inside the safe is a little easier to find, but of course, lots of times your door is not open. There's the serial number right up here on a plate. Um, and that's, that's really all I want to say. Uh, keep in mind, weight, uh, adding weight to the safe really helps a lot for making it theft resistance. Have fun with your little sentry safe and safe cracking. Good day.